So, what is I to the I? What about I root of I? Well, let's focus on I to the I. We know from Euler's identity that I e to the I theta equals cosine of theta plus I sine theta. Now, if we allow theta to be pi over two, due to Euler's identity, e to the i pi over two equals i, because cosine of pi over two equals zero, and sine of pi over two equals one. So, if e to the i pi over two equals i, then if we bring the i over, because we want to get all our i's on the same side of the equation, so we're going to bring our i over here, and that's going to give us e to the i pi over 2 to the i. Now, exponential values and rules say that e to the i pi over 2 i can be written as e to the i times i times pi over 2, and this equals e to the negative pi over 2, because we know that i times i equals i squared. And the thing we know about i squared is i squared is equal to negative one. So this negative one is e allows negative one times pi over two allows e to the negative pi over two. And now, when you plug e to the negative pi over 2 into a calculator, you get 0 0.0216. And this shows that not only is this the value for i to the i, and it shows that a complex number to a complex number can end up being a real number.